on the east side of Detroit. Fiat Chrysler, a global player worth billions, is disrespecting the people next to their new assembly and paint lines. The community next to the plant is majority black. And less than half of the residents live above the poverty line. The area has nearly double the asthma hospitalization rates as the rest of the state. Fiat Chrysler have applied for up to 400 million in public funds and only put 8.8 .8 million of their own money back into community. Fiat Chrysler have refused to meet with residents who are concerned about or critical of the projects and its health and environmental impact. The majority of elected officials have supported Fiat Chrysler and the project, dismissing and ignoring the needs and wants of the most impacted. Their constituents. These are the real stories of Beneteau. These are the voices that Fiat Chrysler refused to hear. These are the people not being represented by our elected officials. My name is Robert Morris. I've been staying on Beneteau for 15 years. My neighbors. Yeah. Uh, the neighbors. I had a neighbor right there, but his house burned down. We had neighbors next door right here. You see what's going on right there. And um, that's what, you know, we kept our lines up. We, uh, we communicated with one another. We watched over one another. And my kids, they, you know, they first learned how to ride their bikes on this block. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's a lot of good memories on this block. And it was great before they had built that plant over on St. Jean. Now you gotta go down this street, pull all the roadblocks just to get the Mac. And that's that's an inconvenience, man. That shouldn't even be we been inconvenienced so they can be convinced at the uh, plant where they parking or whatever they doing over there. Now we got to deal with semi-trucks and everything else coming down our street, tearing it up, polluting us on top of the pollution we got coming from the plant. Well, I, I really don't appreciate them taking that St. G for real because that was a direct, direct um, transport to Mac. And we didn't have to go through all through the neighborhoods and deal with the road bumps and deal with anything. been working out at all because it's been slow it's been stagnant and all we get is posts around the house looking like a crime scene instead of like somebody's about to tear down the house we don't have no information or anything letting us know when or how they're going to do this we got a little notice on the door but that wasn't really telling us anything so now pretty much we just waiting when they go tear down the house and then they didn't even tear down all the houses that's irritating they this house the house next door to this house right here is worse than that house mm -hmm. and they about to tear this house down they gonna leave this house next door up so i still have a, a raggedy house no neighbors staying next to I think they should go through each house and make sure um, that each they need to take each house accordingly into what the needs to that house need to be. Take evaluation house by house and see exactly what they need. I think they need to, Chrysler need to help these uh, houses property value go up. Hmm. If you're gonna take away from us. And we already got low property values. You need to put something into the neighborhood to bring these property values up over here. Well, what it all comes down to is money. You know, uh, we need a proper, we need the proper amount of monies put into this neighborhood. Not no $15,000 because that's not gonna do anything. We need more money and we need more attention put into our neighborhood so we can bring up the property value because that's a billion dollar company. It shouldn't be raggedy. You're building um, Chrysler 300s and G Cherokees, one of the most popular SUVs in the world. 
And um, the neighborhood that builds it around y'all is raggedy. It's not. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Take action. Sign the color of change petition demanding a meeting with Fiat Chrysler and residents. Call council members Tate, Benson, and Leland and demand they move the amendments to the Community Benefits Ordinance to vote. 